talking about the day of resurrection, he said that the sun with all of his, its intensities will be as close to the distance of an arrow or a spear to the fields of resurrection. And people, according to their deeds, will be sweating and they will be drenched in their sweat. And there will be no shade except the shade of throne of Allah Azza wa Jal. And then seven lucky people will be permitted and allowed to enter the shade of the throne of Allah on the day of resurrection. These seven people will be, number one, a just ruler. The second, a person who worshipped Allah even, even in his youth. When he was young, he was youthful. He resisted all the temptations of sleep and worldly activities and he worshipped Allah. This was also out of fear of Allah. The third is a person whose heart, whose desires are just linked and connected and bonded with the mosque, with the congregational prayers and with Salah. And the fourth will be a young person, a young man whom a beautiful, young, wealthy woman gave an invitation of immorality or adultery and he just refused by saying that I fear Allah. This was what? The fear of Allah, the piety which led him to chastity and modesty. This was the fear of Allah which helped him maintain his modesty, his chastity and to refrain from immorality and adultery. And then the fifth would be the people who love each other for the sake of Allah. They meet for the sake of Allah and they depart and they separate each other from the sake of love of Allah. The sixth will be the person who will spend charity in the way of Allah and would do so in such a hidden and a concealed manner that if he spends with his right hand, the left hand would not get to know about it. No show off, no boasting off, no exhibition or demonstration of his charity. And then the seventh, the last but not the least person would be the person who when he remembers his sins, who would remember his negligences, his disobediences, would cry out of the fear of Allah, then this would be the person who would be permitted in the throne of Allah. Allahumma aati nafsi taqwaha. The fear of Allah is going to be a cause, a source of being pardoned by Allah. <laughs> 